This video will demonstrate eApplier Freelancer bot. To check how it works, we first check the current bids on this test freelancer account which shows 34 bid credits available. Now, let's launch the application Freelancer bot. To do the same, click on the file named eApplier Professional Edition for the login screen to appear. Log in to your eApplier account. Now, you have a new screen to configure your freelancer bot. Start filling out the details, your freelancer account email. An amount in the percentage you wish to apply in your bids. The duration and days you want to finish the job in. On the right, fill out your keywords for proposal 1 that need to match with your job skills. Just below the keywords field, write your detailed proposal description to apply for your bid application. Now, repeat for keywords and description for Proposal 2. Note that eApplier supports two proposals to apply for two different kinds of jobs so each proposal's keywords and description ought to be different for your bid application. For further configuration, click on Freelancer setting. In Job Filter option, Yahoo will find two filters to skip specific jobs such as Country Filter to avoid applying in specific countries' jobs and Rating Filter to apply for jobs with the mentioned rating. Click on Price Filter to set your hourly rate in a desirable set price against different job budgets. When the job budget is different from these values, the default amount in the percentage you set on the main configuration page will be applied. There is a duration filter just as the price filter where you can define different durations in days to propose that in how many days you can finish this project. Define job reading URL if you want to collect jobs from specific freelancer job page. Job reading types is where you can select if you want to apply for jobs from the main jobs menu or apply instantly from job notifications. Use the multi-proposal feature if you want to have a different proposal for each job. You can define three different proposals for each keyword set. In this demonstration, we are using the static proposal which uses software screen to write the proposal, whereas using the multiple proposals feature. This is another feature called the bid score protection bot that will stop bidding if your score goes lower than your defined value here. Enable the advanced filter and it will remove all stuff that may prevent your bid application. Under Global Settings in Job Reading Settings, you can define how many pages you want to read and how many times you want to recheck and limit your bids. In System Settings, you can also select a value if you wish to match your keywords with a job skills or job titles. You can also configure your operating system and browser using this bot. Enable Self-Login if you wish to log in yourself manually instead of providing your account credentials to this bot. Now click on Start Service. After you log in, manually click on the Yes button on the window prompted by the bot that will ask Have you logged in? As you can see that the bot has caught a job from notifications to apply.
first job has been applied and you can see there are no bids, so this bid should be the first for this job. Reload this page to check this. See bid on the top placed by e-applier. Another job caught and opened by the bot. This bid is also the first one. But this job will not be applied for because it is from India and we set a country filter to skip jobs from India. Third job has been applied. and the fourth job. You will have complete status and the results of each job application shown on the software screen. This job will also be skipped as it is again from India. This is a result of all current job applications. We had 34 bid credits before running e-applier and the bot has applied for 4 jobs. Now, let's recheck latest bids credit. 